My name is Redlack and I'm a pro player. And these are the 4411 custom tactics that took the pro scene by storm in FC24. So I built the best possible version for you guys at home. So let's get into the tactics. But first things first, look at the team. Now, you know me, guys. I love talking about personnel and why each player plays in each position. But first things first, we're in a 4321 for chemistry reasons. Now, in game, some of you will know how to set this up, some won't. But basically, we're coming into custom tactics. Now, it says ultra defensive, defensive attacking, ultra attacking. These don't mean anything. That could pretty much just say one, two, three, or four. We've already got um, a 4 3 2 1 set up in attacking, 4 triple 2 in ultra defensive, and an all out attack in ultra attacking. So for this, we're going to select defensive, but that doesn't mean your players are going to act any differently than before. So, straight into the tactics. First things first, defensive style, balanced. Now, most people in SC24 use balance, balance, direct passing. All pros use it. And if you don't, leave a comment on why you don't use these. But yeah, that's what all pros use. So that's what we're going to go for. Width, straight away, we're absolutely ramping it up to around 40. Now, all pros use between 30 and 40. So you're not too compact. Like last year, pros were using one width. You can't do that on FC24 because they'll just ping the ball over to the fullback and they're in on goal with ease. So yeah, for here, we're going for 40. You don't want to be too wide either. Otherwise, they can just run through the middle. Depth. Now, this one's a shocker. Normally on these vids, we go 40, 50, 60, probably about 60. If you don't like this width, 100, sorry, depth. If you don't like 100 depth, please use whatever you would like, 60, 70. But for this video, we're going for 100. The E-Champions League winner used 100 depth, 4, 4, 1, 1. So give it a try. If you don't like it, feel free to change. On to offense. Build up play balanced. Chance creation, direct passing. Simple as that. Width, ramp this one up. Now, obviously, you want the width on attack on offense to be higher than your width on defense. Why is that? Because when you're defending, you want to be narrow and compact. When you're attacking, you want to be expansive. Huge word for me there. You want to be expansive. You want to have a lot of space, more players in the box sort of thing. Speaking of players in the box, straight up to seven. We're not missing about today in these tactics. There's also so much gameplay clips at the end of the video where I'll talk through what to do in each position and why each player is so good. So please, guys, don't skip. Wait and see what I have to say. Corners and free kicks, I have two. It's situational. If you whip it in on free kicks, you're going to have three. If you don't, you're going to have one. I, start, I like to mix it up, so I'm going to go for two. Corners is preference. Two is perfect for me. Now, you're going to go over to formations and you're going to realize your team's muddled up or it's not in the right formation. So go ahead and select the formation you want to play in. Then you'll realize, why is my team muddled up? First things first, we're going to fix that up. But where do we want to play each player? First things first, the best player on the pitch, Kylian Mbappe, is going up front. And then Giroud, you're probably thinking, where's he going to go? He's big. Is he going to go at centre forward? No, no, he's staying left mid, and you'll see why. He's so good in the air, he's there for them headers. But also, we have a right mid in Valverde, who can play right back. He can fill in at right back, but he's also a good right mid. We have a right centre back in Walker, who can, can play right back, but he's playing at centre back. We have Rodri, who can play right back, but he's playing centre mid. There's a pattern here. Why is that? Because our luxury man, Trent Alexander-Arnold, is bombing up and down the pitch. Guys, wait till you see these gameplay clips. He's absolutely insane. Playing balls to the left back, playing balls to Giroud, over on that far side to win the header and head it down, or even put it in the goal. You'll see very, very soon. Now, where else is everyone playing? KDB and Rodri centre mid. Liao at Cam, someone like 4-star, 5-star, 5-star, 5-star sort of vibe. Gold finesse, can go on the left, can go on the right foot. He's so, so good. But yeah, the unorthodox one is Giroud left mid and Valverde right mid. Valverde's so, so good. He's like a centre mid with pace, doesn't have whip pass, so he can hang it up to Giroud as well. But yeah, I'm going to stop waffling. Let's get on to the instructions. First things first, stay central, get him behind. Mbappe's the best player on the pitch. You want him to cause absolute havoc at the back, like he does in real life with his pace. Liao, come back on defence. This is so you can defend in like a 4-5-1, but attack in a 4-4-1-1. It's very, very effective. Left mid Giroud, come back on defence. Right mid Valverde, come back on defence. Pretty simple, so you can defend quite deep, but also attack on the counter. Onto the left back and right back, stay back and overlap. Now, you're probably thinking, usually you'd use Trent on balanced here and have him sort of higher up. No, because in a 4-4-1-1-1, 4-4-1-1, you have two banks of four. So, like, you're already defending quite, quite deep. So, you don't want him to be running up and down. Otherwise, you'll have six men deep on one side and then no one on the right. So, yeah. Pretty much, stay out on attacking overlap. Come back on defence on the on the wide mids. Stay back, cover centre for the two centre mids. Pretty standard in the pro scene. You always want your centre mids to be working back as well, otherwise you're just going to get countered. But yeah, I've, I've waffled on enough about the personnel. Guys, please, watch these gameplay clips, and I'll tell you exactly why to use each player in each position. Spent so much time talking about Trent, and here's why. In real life, I don't really, like, care about him. Like, a lot of people have, like, a mad agenda thinking he's so, so good. 
I respect that. But on this game, he is not. Look at the passes he's playing. Like, every single one is so weighted perfectly with that long ball gold. And, like, look at us. We score an own goal here. What do we do to retaliate? Send Mbappe on a run. Ping it to Trent over the top with R1 square on PlayStation. And, wow, what a ball. But, yeah, I tried it with Havertz and it went straight to their keeper. So, work that one out. Here, De Bruyne out to Trent. Looking for that early pass, that early whip inside. Ball roll, don't play it. Play it now, Giroud. One touch, finish. The whip pass trait is so, so broken nowadays. At the start of the game, no one even liked it. Look at that. Cut inside, Traveller angle. Hits it with his left instead. Win the header with Giroud. Blial finesse. Absolutely fantastic. All one square over the top. And look at this for a power shot. Oh my god. If that went in, wow. I don't know what I would say. But yeah, Trent into Rudiger. Trigger him. Then trigger Havertz. Back out to Trent now. Step over forward, ball roll, manual pass over the top. Perfect touch. Bait the shot, cut inside, finesse, green. Always going in. Trent again. Look, he's, he's just a luxury. And in this formation, 4 for one one as you can see there, Havertz and Giroud are both there. So Havertz wins the header. Giroud's now in. One more pass, finesse, green. Easiest goal of all time. But look at this skill run. Skill, ball roll, step over. R1L1X. Trigger that run, but also play a driven pass. Rodri, amazing turn against Bon Matty there. Trent takes it in his stride. Is there a cross on? No. Come inside. Liao. Goal time. This this formation is so, so good. Look at that. That's, that's just an LBY. That's not even anything silly. It's just an LBY. So, so easy. Keep running. Whip it in. Liao. This formation's nuts. The way it defends in a 4-4-1-1 and then attacks, like, with so many numbers, is filth. Here we make the wrong decision. But as you can see, that first time through ball was mental. And we're just doing it all, all, all game long, really. It's going out of play, so we do a little ding. One more. Shot, keep, saves it. Now, I had to leave this in, because look at this corner that we scored. Wowza. Guys, watch the tutorials if you haven't already, because what am I seeing? Rudiger, that is a bullet. Great little dink from Trent there into Andre the substitute. Can he find Giroud? Yes, he can. One more to the edge. Power shot. Misses. Now, it was unfortunate, but here, look where we have De Bruyne. We're always looking for that pass. It's a similar sort of angle. We give it to Valverde this time. Keep running. Dink it to the back stick. Head it down. But yeah, that pass from KDB to Trent is the one you're looking for. But look at this bullet. Wow. Like, power shots are mental. Valverde again. Can he find Giroud? One more pass. Bad aim from Mbappe from me there. All good, though, because this time, instead of passing it, we're just going to absolutely bullet one into the back of the net. Pretty standard. Trent again. Dictate and play. Mugging his opponents off. Little dink over the top with that player lock there to Valverde. Good touch. Green. Great, great goal. Um, but Valverde is so important in this team. Like what he does working back is amazing. Guys, don't do too much with the right back with Trent Alexander-Arnold. Because what's going to happen is you're going to lose the ball. But you are still safe. You've got Rudiger there. Or Kyle Walker nowadays, but not in these clips. In these clips, we've got Rudiger. But yeah. Rodri getting manhandled there. Trent's out of the equation. Rudiger, what a tackle. So you can you can recover, but don't do too much because then you will be up against the odds if Trent's out of position. But that's why we have people like Valverde playing right mid, winning that ball, letting Trent go on a forward run and build up that attack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you thought of these tactics. Peace. Two. Do you want to play out from the back in FIFA, but your keeper is more like De Gea than Edison? Who should be higher rated in EAFC? Liao or Dembele? Get out the game, man. Three in the white one. Throw that pad. You're done. <laughs>